making it to the end of the assignment is more important than the assignment because we are professional beginners very poor finishes we gotta fulfill the vision so that the mission will be accomplished and God's purpose will be fulfilled so we have this vision this vision that God placed in our generation ladies and gentlemen I hope you capture what I'm talking about this morning like you never did before pray for revelation first of all let's define these three things quickly again purpose is the ultimate original reason for the creation of a thing that's purpose mission is different mission comes from purpose and it is the general assignment to fulfill that purpose but vision is more specific still vision is unique and customized it is distinctive and vision is a project that you see in your heart and that project is designed to fulfill the mission for example, your purpose might be to not live outside in the elements. I'm looking at you because you're an architect. So here I am, I don't want to live in the bush. I don't want to be exposed to the rain and to the sun and to mosquitoes and all the vials of nature. And so my purpose is to cover myself. So I need a mission. What's my mission? My mission is I got to build a house. So now I know my general need is, I have to build a house. But now, I can try life with key. <laughs> a two million dollar house. Or I can build a house for fifty, sixty thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars. And I gotta decide, it can't just be any house. I gotta have a vision of what kind of house I am appropriately able to handle. So you can't say I want covering, I want a house, that's my mission, and then just decide I want a house. Because you, you, know, you may not be able to afford a house in certain areas. So you got to choose based on your what? Grace. Your ability. So you get a picture of this house. Everybody say picture. And that's what vision is. The house is what? Specific, unique, and customized to your need and your ability it becomes now a vision you can see and that's why the architect can literally draw it and give you the artist's conception of it with a finished product he can show you this house before it's built that's called a vision when you have the vision now you can start working so vision always activates people it puts them to work. A vision is designed to give people something to do practically. When the house is built, then what is accomplished? What is it? Come on, answer me this morning. When the house is built, that's the vision, what is accomplished? The mission. What's the mission? To have a house. And then when you have the house, what else is accomplished? The purpose. Why? You're no longer in the elements. See, the vision is important. The vision is what you see to accomplish what you desire so you can have what you want. That's what God is all about. And so what God has done, He's provided a vision. Because vision provides diversity in unity. Everyone in here lives in a house. It could be an apartment or a house, whatever. You live in, a, in, in some building in a house. But all the houses are different, aren't they? They're diverse. Some of you are on your way through. You know, my wife and I used to rent an apartment. Then we, we moved into a house. We rent a house for a while. And then we moved back into another apartment while we were building our own house. Now we're in our own house. We've been through a lot of places to get to our desire. Every vision goes through phases. And where you live in now may not be where you live for the rest of your life. 
But you got to stay there until God says, okay, you are now able to move on. And we enjoyed the apartment we were in. And then we enjoyed the house we rented. We enjoyed the other apartment. We, we enjoyed these places. Why? We even lived with my mother-in-law who's now going to be the Lord. We lived in the house there for a few years while we're saving our money to buy property. Sometimes you got to go through phases to fulfill God's will. And it takes years. And some people can't make it through the years. Some folks still wondering if Miles Monroe is crazy. And I, I'm sure some of you got your own doubts too. You've been here a long time and you say, well, I never see what he talked about come to pass yet. I understand vision, so I'm steady. How many of you understand vision this morning? Stay steady, yeah? It will speak in the end, it says. It won't prove to be false. Even though it tarries, wait for it. It shall come to pass. Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them.